All right, guys, I had to go a month without my ubiquitous knife box, and therefore I really had to pare myself down to essentially one singular knife, and that was the Civivi Cubit, Quibit, whatever you want to call it. And while this was a perfectly functional knife, I certainly felt that there were times and places where I would have preferred some of these knives. So today we're talking about what knives I miss the most having gone a month without the knife box. So let's jump into it. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So first off, one of them has to be the awesome Heretic Knives Manticore X Bounty Hunter. This one is one that while truthfully I don't necessarily pocket carry every day or throw in the pockets every day, it is one of those larger knives I do love to have the option of carrying. It's fast firing, it's pretty big, it's pretty darn useful. Not to mention having nearly four inches of magnet cut, especially with that Tonto blade, is certainly a very nice option to have around when you feel you need it. So I definitely missed the uh, Manticore X by Heretic Knives quite a bit. If for no other reason, it's also very fun to take pictures with and to post on the Instagram stories, but of course also to use to carry and much to people's chagrin on this YouTube channel because most people sit there and say, oh, this guy never uses his knives. I really do use all of these guys. It's just that I try not to make them to look too heavily worn. And honestly, too, this thing already is worn. So I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to show wear on a knife that's already artificial worn so I don't know you can't win them all and I really have stopped trying to win them all long ago and far away next one up is the Strider SNG this one is a one that I missed because I genuinely love carrying this when I go out into the wilderness um, as a wilderness folder now of course I will always balance it with a fixed blade that's more robust and more tough I'm not trying to say that the Strider SNG is a replacement for a fixed blade but at the same time too I like having it because I feel like I can hard use this blade and it holds up just fine so Strider SNG was missed in that regard because of course I was hiking around going into the wilderness doing things that I wish I had this awesome blade for so this one was definitely missed and of course the Strider SNG is a totally missable blade because I think unlike many people the Strider SNG is a pretty dope blade overall so definitely a really noteworthy knife <laughs> All right, next one up is the TRM Shadow. This one is just a super pocket-friendly EDC blade, and I do actually like EDCing it quite a lot, so it was definitely sad not having it around, not having that slicey CPM 20 CV blade on me is definitely a tragedy. So this is one that I'm definitely stoked to have back and definitely love to EDC. I think Tierra makes some of the best in like most pocket friendly, true to form everyday carry knives. So it definitely is a nice, very nice one to have around. And I really do dig having these like O-rings on here to just deploy this thing super fast. It's just a cool blade. And the blade shape is wacky enough that it is definitely awesome not to mention too i've been seeing a lot of people on the youtubes talking about their trm shadows so i was like man that makes me want to have my trm shadow because i have it i just can't edc it so it is one that i'm glad to be able to throw back in the pockets and edc so really cool very unique and trm overall makes an absolute bang up product all right now on to the next axis uh, knife or axis lock crossbar lock knife. It is maybe surprisingly the Benchmade Osborne 940. Now this is one that I got shortly before I had to leave. So this is one that I EDC'd you know, for like a couple days and then had to put away for a while. So that is probably why I kind of missed it because while this one is definitely used and abused and very well loved, it is still a really well performing knife and honestly very well broken in. You guys can see how smooth and this thing is not on bearings of course just on washers so it is an incredibly smooth uh, deploying blade and that is another reason why I really liked it. 
So that is the Benchmade 940 Osborne. All right, another one that is kind of in a similar category to the Benchmade 940 is the ABW or American Blade Works Model 1. This is one that I had shortly before I had to leave my knives for a while. So I didn't really get a whole lot of pocket time with this one, but I'm definitely stoked to have it back because this blade is just such a wacky blade with its Ultim handles, Magna Cut with that like deeply worn cliff blade it just overall looks like such a unique and fascinating piece of knife and i really do dig the way that this thing is built and one of my favorite things about this is just how um, the knife uh, blade is like milled around its stop pin so you guys can see there like how the blade is kind of captive or captures the stop pin integrally. So I don't really think that adds much to its overall like strength. I don't think that necessarily makes this a stronger liner lock, but it is very cool and very unique. You can even see how it wraps around the um, flipper on this to give it a better or more forward positioned flipping action. So really unique design on this one and overall its performance is definitely up there. So really cool blade i do definitely enjoy ed seeing it and now i'm de definitely glad to have more time to get this thing some more pocket time so anyways that is the abw model one all right last one up is the crk umnum zon this is one that kind of surprises me because i've wanted an umnum zon for some time so it's never really been a surprise that like i wanted the umnum zon but the I never really expected to like love the Omnum Zon as much as I do. Not to say that it's a poorly made product, like it is a well-made knife, it is a good knife, and overall it's it's just a genuine, you know, high quality product. But at the same time too, like looking at the Omnum Zon, I never really, really loved them. But this is one that I surprisingly did actually miss, and so I definitely miss most of my knives in my collection, or definitely did. Um, but this is one that I was like, dang, there are quite a few times where I wanted to be able to pull that thing out or be able to EDC it, just because it is such a unique knife. You really don't see Omnum Zons as much as you see in Kosi's and Sabenza's. And so I think this is one that was definitely missed for those reasons. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video taking a look at a handful of knives that I missed not being able to EDC for a month. So anyways, guys, expect to see more of these blades. And as always, God bless and I'm out.